today we are going to discuss equity in sustainable development sustainable development has been described here in general terms like the development that meets the current need without compromising the ability of the future generation how uh, how are the individuals in the real world to be persuaded or made to act in a common interest the answer lies in education institutional development and law enforcement but many problems of the resource depletion and environmental stress arises from disparity in economic and political power an industry may get away with unacceptable levels of air and water pollution because the people who bear the brunt of it are poor and unable to complain effectively a forest may be destroyed by excessive felling because the people living there have no alternative or because timber contractors generally have more influence than forest dwellers ecological interactions do not respect ecological interactions do not respect the boundaries of individual ownership and political jurisdiction the sine water said the ways in which a farmer of the slope uses land directly affect runoff on the farms downstream the irrigation practices pesticides and fertilizer used in one farm affect the productivity of neighboring ones especially among small farms the efficiency of a factory boilers determines its rate of emission of soots and noxious chemicals and affect all who live and work around it the hot water discharged by a thermal power plant into river or a local area affect the catch of all who fish locally traditional social systems recognized some aspect of the interdependence and enforced community control over agricultural practices and traditional rights relating to water forest and land this enforcement of the common interest did not necessarily impede growth and expansion though it may have limited the acceptance and diffusion of the technological innovation local interdependence has if anything increased because of the technological technology used in modern agriculture and manufacturing yet with this surge of the technological progress the growing closure of the common hands the erosion of the common rights in forest and other resources and the spread of commerce and production of the market the responsibility to decision making are being taken away from both groups and individual the shift is still underway in many developing countries it is not that there is one set of the villains villains and another of victims all would be better off if each person took into account the effect of his or her act upon other but it is unwilling to assume that other will behave in his socially desirable fashion and hence all continue to pursue narrow self interest communities or government can compensate for this isolation through laws education tax subsidies and other methods well enforced laws and strict liability legislation can control harmful side effects most important effective participation in decision making process by local community can help them articulate and effectively enforce their common interest interdependence is not simply a local phenomenon rapid growth in production has extended it to the international plane with both physical and economic manifestations there are growing global and regional pollution effects such as the more than 200 international river basin and the large number of crc are affected 
द इन्फोर्समेंट ऑफ द कॉमन इंटरेस्ट ऑफ एन सफर्स बिकॉज एरियाज ऑफ पोलिटिकल जुडिस्डिक्शन एंड एरियाज ऑफ इम्पैक्ट डो नॉट गो इन साइड एनर्जी पॉलिसीज इन वन जुडिस्टिक्शन कॉज एसिड प्रिसिपिटेशन इन अनदर द फिशिंग पॉलिसीज ऑफ वन स्टेट एफेक्ट्स द फिश कैच ऑफ अनदर नो सुपर नेशनल अथॉरिटी एग्जिस्ट टू रिजोल्व सच इशूज एंड द कॉमन इंटरेस्ट कैन ओनली बी आर्टिकुलेटेड थ्रू इंटरनेशनल को ऑपरेशन इन द सेम वे द एबिलिटी ऑफ ए गवर्नमेंट टू कंट्रोल इट्स नेशनल इकोनॉमी इज रिड्यूस्ड बाय ग्रोइंग इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक इंटरेक्शंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉरन ट्रेड इन कॉमोडिटीज मेक्स इशू ऑफ कैरिंग कैपेसिटीज एंड रिसोर्स scarcity and international concern if economic power and benefit of trade were more equitably distributed common interest would be generally recognized but the gains from trade are unequally distributed and the patterns of trade in say sugar affects no, not merely sugar producing sector but the economies and ecclosis of many developing countries that depend heavily on this product the search for common interest would be less difficult if all the development and environmental problems had solutions that would leave everyone better off this is seldom the case and there are usually winner and loser many problems arise from inequalities in access to resource and in equitable land ownership structure can lead to over exploitation of the resource in the smallest holding with harmful effect on both environment and development internationally monopolistic control over resources can drive those who do not share in them excess ex- excessive exploitation of the marginal resource the differing capabilities of the exploiter to commander free goods locally nationally and internationally is another manifestation of unequal access to resource losers in environment and development conflict include those who suffer more than their fair share of the health property and ecosystem damage cost of pollution as a system approach ecological limits inequality is sharpened thus when a watershed deteriorates poor farmers suffer more because they cannot afford the same anti erosion measures as richer farmers when urban air quality deteriorates the poor in their more vulnerable areas suffer more health damage than the rich who usually live in more pristine neighborhood when minerals resources become depleted let commerce to the industrialization process lose the benefit of low cost supplies globally wealthier nations are better placed financially and technologically to cope with the effect of possible climate change hence our inability to promote the common interest in sustainable development is often a product of the relative neglect of economy and social justice within and amongst nations thank you thank you for listening